Come on, then. We have a lot of ground to cover if we're expected to reach the rendezvous with General Skywalker. Ugh, my legs are killing me. Yeah, Fives is right. Couldn't we have brought a walker or something? Stop being so lazy, troopers. Your captain gave you an order. Thank you, Abbo. It's not that bad, meatbags. You've only been blocking for 18 hours straight. Those are rookie numbers. Ugh, Roger. You said this detour was going to be quick. It is quicker. We only added approximately 13 hours to our march. What? 13 hours? You told me 13 minutes from our path. To be fair, you should have noticed the discrepancy when I set the coordinates in your nav computer. Echo, if you don't shut that clanker up, I'm doing it for you. Hey! Roger, seriously, I wouldn't test Rex if I were you. This is so racist. I can't believe we've been walking this whole time for a droid. Are you sure we can't stop to rest, Rex? I'm exhausted. All right, Jesse. We can rest here for a few minutes. But then it's back on track. The last time we were on Ambora, it wasn't much better. Remember, Jesse? You're all a bunch of babies. Your mom's a baby. Who said that? Was that you, Echo? What? No. I'm keeping quiet. Wait a minute. Echo, why are you even here? I thought you had a mission off-world. I decided to come along. Since Roger saved me at the Citadel on Lola Sayu, I kinda have to go everywhere with him. That's right, my little sweet cheeks. Hey, not in front of the guys. Roger, why the hell did you have us travel so far off course? I left something here when I was last on Umbara. Something very special to me. Uh, you're a droid. What could possibly be special to you? If you must know, it's a family heirloom. My mother gave it to me when I was first created at the factory. We should be pretty close now. Okay, wait. I have a lot of questions. What were you doing on Umbara? The fighting here only saw natives on the surface. Oh, well. When our flagship in space was destroyed, I got sent flying all the way to the surface, and I crash-landed with the ship. That's my droid. Yep. And I heroically hid and waited while the Republic occupation cooled down. Your sex droid is a real piece of work, Echo. He's not a sex droid. Forget it. We don't have time for this right now. Make sure your gear is ready. We're moving out soon. So, Roger, you were on that support ship we blew up. Yep. I tried to warn them when I saw you guys in there, but you were too good. These timelines aren't really matching up. Your mom isn't matching up. Okay, who said that? Who's the smartass? It wasn't me. These goddamn voices get so confusing. In any case, it's still sad about Hardcase. He gave his life blowing up that supply ship. I mean, if I survived the ship's crash, then maybe he did too. That's not how life forms work, Roger. We just have to accept the fact that Hardcase is dead. He was a good man. If Hardcase is dead, then who is that? Who? Behind you! <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? Blast it! Wait, don't shoot it. Is that a... Hard case? Is that you? <laughs> oh my Lucas, I think it is him! Told you! Shut up, Roger! <laughs> Hard case. Is that really you? <laughs> Sounds like him, all right. He does not sound like him. But his armor sure looks like it. <laughs> what the hell is going on? How is hard case here a... Well, a zombie. Fascinating. He must have been stuck on this planet all this time. His body must have died when the supply ship crashed into the planet's surface. And combined with the bizarre... Unexplainable technology and vegetation. Hardcase's corpse must have been rejuvenated. Which turned him into a... Fascinating. Now, I've seen a lot of weird shit in my time. But this one definitely takes the cake. I could go for some cake right now. Apple, pay attention. We just found a long-lost brother. 
My ally. He's not as smart as I remember. I was gonna say the opposite. He seems pretty normal to me. Flop off, Safe. Hard case. If you're really still in there, tell me something only you would know. Ah, uh, from uh, a What was that? I uh, don't quite speak a zombie. Does anyone here speak a zombie? It's too bad we don't have that protocol droid of General Skywalker's with us. He'd be able to translate it. He said one time, Fives and him played Find the Cucumber in the middle of the night on Camino. What the fuck? No, 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 I didn't. Who the. Who the. Don't mention it. Just. Accept it. But. Accept it, Fives. I mean it. Pretend it never happened. Ah, for that little. You know what he needs? A good old fashioned trademarked Roger Miracle Cure. Does he even still have his penis? Not that kind of cure, sugar. I need one of these. What is that? It's an anecdote for zombieism. Comes straight from Dathomir. How the hell do you have that on you? I just do. It's also an anecdote for other stuff. Like gayness and clowns. Really? Mind if I try it out? I mean, borrow one for a friend. Settle down, everyone. We're out about a fall for one of Roger's scams again. It's not a scam this time, Captain Rex. I promise. Last time you tried to sell us something, Fides ended up in the brig for a week. My stomach had to be pumped for five hours. We're lucky the Republic even signed off on that. They usually don't spend that much on Medicare for the clones. They didn't pay. I did. Out of my own pocket. You did? Echo. I... I don't know what to say. Yes, yes, very touching. You never spend money on me, Apo. Who the fuck said that? Ah, from love and an answer To hell with it. We should at least try Roger's miracle cure. Prepare to be amazed. Open up, zombie hard case. <laughs> Not that whole silly. I gotta pour it directly into your anal cavity. Gross. Do you really have to do that? Only if you want it to work. Now hold down the zombie so I can pour this fluid down his ass. Come on, hard case. <laughs> Don't struggle. Let Roger put his fluids in your ass. There we go. Good little zombie. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. I've seen a lot of weird shit on this planet. But nothing compares to this. Can someone help me here? He's getting really riled up now that his pants are down. I got you. And here we go. Ugh, gross. Why is it sizzling? I don't know. I never tested it on a zombie before. What do you mean you never tested it? Look, the night sister I bought it from didn't exactly offer a sample kit. There. He's not struggling anymore. Hot case. Are you okay? That's for that new plus solo. Good as new. Yay. Oh. Never mind. Wait. What just happened? Looks like he died. Are you sure? Oh, yep. His heart is not beating. He's dead, all right. Roger, what the fuck? He was breathing before. At least, I mean, he was a zombie, but he was still alive, you know? Hey. I never guaranteed my product would work. So you're telling me that we just sexually assaulted Hardcase for no reason? I mean, I kind of enjoyed it. Who said that? Poor Hardcase. He didn't deserve to have liquid poured down his asshole in his final moments. Even still, it's an honorable way to go. The hell it is. Yeah. It's better than dealing with what the Jedi wanted to do with us after we murdered Pong Grell. He tried to kill us. We were defending ourselves. Even General Skywalker was pretty pissed. But he believed us in the end. Wait, I've never heard about this. What happened with General Krell? Long story, Echo. You had to be there. I saw him cutting down clones in the fields after I was captured. He was so majestic. I've never seen such raw power. Such thick muscles. Roger. Stop being horny. Echo, calm your droid down before I feed him to the native vegetation. Roger is fine. You're all just a bunch of babies. Echo, we had some serious PTSD from that. 
you try watching some giant, fat, four-armed, EDP-looking motherfucker murder all your friends. Doesn't help that we were all technically kids. You know, I think that's why Skywalker was so defensive of Krell at first. We should really talk to him about that child murder thing he does. PTSD. What does that stand for? Pussies try sucking dick? It actually stands for Echo is getting demoted. Oh. Well, what do we do with the body? I mean, I don't mind having a clone trooper with his ass hanging out for all of us to see, but I gotta admit, it's not very attractive. Speak for yourself. No, shut up, Apo. Go take a gay ass elsewhere. Don't be homophobic, Fives. Sounds like Fives is gunning for a demotion, too. Everyone, please. Nobody is getting demoted. Just get ready. We're running late enough as it is. You heard that, Captain. Come on, everyone. Aha. Uh -huh. It was you that's been saying that shit. Uh, I plead the fifth. Don't be meta, Crips. I'm ready, Captain. Uh, the sooner we get this day over with, the better. Sorry, hot cheeks. I mean, hard case. Till we meet again. I knew you were gay, Fives. Shut up, Echo. Just a few more minutes, and we should be able to see the base. Everyone good back there? I'd be better off if Echo wasn't breathing down my back. Oh, get over yourself, Jesse. Who even made you an ARC Trooper? Hey, keep the bickering to a minimum, please. Oh, hey, there it is. My child's an heirloom. Look, guys, here it is, in all of its golden glory. Finally. Now we can finally forget about this whole side mission. Roger. You're telling me you had us take a 13-hour detour when your little heirloom was just a few clicks south of the base. It was the clearest path. I swear to Lucas Clanker, I'm gonna rip your fucking circuit boards out from the wrong panel. Captain. Rex, I'm sorry. He doesn't know any better. He's made us walk all this way for no reason. Well, come on, guys. We got to spend some quality time together. You literally traumatized us with that fucking zombie shit. I mean, trauma can be a good thing. Stop trying to defend it just because you saw a dude's asshole, Apo. Echo, step away from Roger. I'm gonna throw him into that fucking Vixis. <laughs> No, no, please. I'm too young to die. You're a droid. You'll survive. Off with his head. Come here, you little freak. No, wait. I don't deserve this. Why don't you feed Echo to the beast? It's technically his fault I'm still here. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, I... <laughs> <laughs> you? Serves him right, honestly. Yeah. It's nice to finally see something good happen on this forsaken planet. Oh, Roger. He was just trying to help. Uh, that wasn't nice. Come on, Roger. I hope you learned whatever lesson it was they were trying to teach you, Echo. I don't want to see that sex droid of yours ever again. You hear me? It's not a sex droid. Definitely not anymore. Shut up. Anyone else have to take a mean shit? Actually, yeah, I do. Gross. Come on, we're pretty close to the compound. Mind if I go shit in the woods real quick? I won't take too long. I don't know, Apo. You can use the toilet at the base. We'll be there in ten minutes. I'll use Roger to help me wipe. Wait, no. Hmm. All right. No, please. Uh. There you guys are. Where the hell have you been? Me and R2 have been waiting for hours. Sorry, sir. We got a bit lost, is all. Echo, you have a battle droid in your backpack. Did you run into trouble? Uh, no, sir. That's just, uh, a souvenir. Oh, so that's all we are now, huh? I'm just a little side piece decoration. After all those long nights, I would have thought... Uh, on second thought... It's not that important to me. Ah! Oh, that was rude. Let's just get to the mission. What are your orders, General? Follow me. 
First, I want to show you the size of this shit I just had. Come on, R2. Ugh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, this day can't possibly get any worse. Ah, gross! Stop! Ew! I am so not hanging out with those guys anymore. Well, I want to give a huge thank you to the Insane Care Patreons that make videos like these possible. Blunt BBM, Carter L, Fudge Cake, BNL Barina, Plus Gear, Destro Pony, Bossy Mattel, and Winston. Thanks for making this Battle Droid's dream come true. Now I just gotta find a way to reassemble my body. Comment justice for Roger if you made it this far. 